Michigan. Isn't that how that one person says it? Or do a lot of people say it like that? I don't know. I've heard it somewhere, and every now and then I say it. Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. You had a good run. All around, it was a very exciting season. If you had to ask me, this was a W of a year, not only for Michigan, but Jim Harbaugh, because going into it, his job was on the line. He's done one thing every single year at Michigan since he's got there. And that one thing I'm talking about is disappoint. Is John Harbaugh a good coach? Yes, he's proven it at the college level, and he's also done a good job at the NFL level. The entire Jim Harbaugh conversation, it's really interesting when you break it down. What really put a dent in his legacy, I guess you could say that, is the expectations when he was going into Michigan was about as high as Nick Saban's currently at Alabama. I remember it like it was yesterday, because when it happened, I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You had ESPN analysts and people in general thinking he could be the next quote unquote Nick Saban if not better. I don't have a problem with you saying Jim Harbaugh is going to be a great coach. I had a problem with people disrespecting Nick Saban. Comparing anyone to Saban is straight up disrespectful. We're witnessing greatness. There will never and I mean never never in a million years be another Nick Saban. So appreciate him while he's here and don't compare anyone to him. Whoa 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 I forgot to mention this and get into it. I was getting carried away. You're probably sitting there thinking. Yo Matt how is is Michigan season over? What we're about to get into, it's sad, it's unfortunate, and I gotta tell the truth, that's how I am on this channel, I gotta tell you how it is. As we all know, Michigan's about to match up with Georgia in a game coming up in the 31st, which is five to six days from now. It's honestly sad the season for Michigan has to end this way, but hey, you know what they say, all good things eventually come to an end. We've got a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff to talk about and get into, so without further ado, Let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into this video, on one of my previous videos, I said if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll tell you how many new subscribers we gained, and we gained over 700 from one video. I know each and every one of you that are subscribed, you might get annoyed by this, but you gotta understand, we got new people coming to the channel every day, and I want you guys to join the family if you're enjoying the content. I try to do this on one video every seven to eight days, once a week, so let's do it on this one. If you're new to the channel, or simply not subscribe, let's see how many new subscribers we can gain. Like always, however many we gain, I'll tell you in a video, probably in next week. So hit that subscribe button, do me a huge favor. And now without further ado, let's get into it. I believe it was either early this morning or late last night when Michigan's football team and their staff landed at their destination, the Orange Bowl. As soon as the team got off the plane and they had a practice, here's what Jim Harbaugh had to say in an interview. It's a great honor to be here. A great privilege. You get to entertain America on the 31st. On the other side of the ball, Kirby Smart had to say this in an interview when his team got there. I'm not going to read off the entire quote, but he said, And I think a lot of times, you learn so much more from a loss than a victory, and our guys have kind of been re-energized and focused. I get it, I get it. You're probably sitting there thinking, Yo, Matt, what in the heck do those quotes have to do with anything with Michigan season being over? The difference with Michigan and Georgia, and you could say Alabama, is Michigan, that entire program, they're not used to being here, and like Jim Harbaugh, I said they're just happy to be here and it's a great honor on the other hand for Georgia they're not happy to be here if anything they're feeling disrespected and embarrassed from what happened a couple of weeks ago to put it in another perspective do you think Nick Saban in interviews is going to say oh yeah we're just happy to be here heck no he expects to win the championship and so do all those players it's not oh we're happy to be here it's straight up time to handle business and I know Georgia isn't on the level of Alabama, but I believe that's their mindset as well. The reason I read off Kirby's quote, he hit it on the nail directly. Those players have a chip on their shoulder, they're re-energized, and they're refocused. Do not get me wrong. I'm not saying Michigan's players aren't going to play hard. Of course they're going to play hard. Their season's on the line. What I am saying, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Georgia's players are about to play with a fire burning inside them, and you're going to see it on the 31st. If you watch the channel, you know I'm not a Georgia fan, but I know how this goes. Georgia's going to play the way Alabama played against them. Remember a few weeks ago when Alabama barely beat Auburn and barely beat LSU and Arkansas, and everybody was saying it was the worst team under Nick Saban? 
You don't think that lit a fire inside of them? And you saw what happened against Georgia, right? I hate to continue to bring up Alabama, but it's the exact same thing with Georgia. You have the media, their own fans saying, oh, our players ain't good. We're never going to get over the hump. You don't think that's motivating them a little more? I believe it is. Guess what? I haven't even touched on this, but it's going to be the main point of this video. What does Jim Harbaugh do every single season since he's been at Michigan? Every single year, he disappoints. And I think he's a good coach. I don't think he's great just yet. And I can't put him in that great or elite conversation because he always has one to two games where he slips up and folds under the pressure. Jim Harbaugh's not a Nick Saban. He's not a Kirby Smart. He's not a Dabo Sweeney. And he's not even a Lincoln Riley. He's not even a top five coach. And there's no debate. I could continue to name coaches I think's better than Jim Harbaugh and it's proven more. I'm not a fan of Brian Kelly, but heck, I think Kelly's better than Harbaugh. Everyone in this earth has a bad habit of getting brainwashed and living and being a prisoner in the moment. We just saw Michigan pull off a crazy upset over Ohio State, so we're like, okay, Michigan's back, and Jim Harbaugh, he's a great coach, when in reality, you gotta come back down to earth. I'm not going to overreact to one good win, and I'm gonna give Michigan credit. That win over Ohio State, it was great, and it was awesome to see. But let me ask you a question, and this is for my Michigan fans. Does that one single win over Ohio State make up for the eight to nine butt whoopings they've gave you over the past 10 years? I don't think so. To put it in an even better perspective that me and you can understand even farther, if you work out all the time and you eat one cookie, it's not going to make you fat. But if you eat cookies every single day and you work out once a month, you're not going to get skinny. You see what I'm saying? Eating one cookie every now and then, it's not going to make you fat. On the contrary, eating one apple every now and then, it's not going to make you skinny. You have to continue to eat apples and continue to eat salads to remain healthy. So what does that have to do with Jim Harbaugh? He has to continue to beat Ohio State and Michigan State for me to say he's a great coach. You don't call Nick Saban the greatest of all time because he's won one championship. You call him the GOAT because he does it almost every single year. We got a lot more to get into. Let's go even farther into detail about Michigan. I'm going to ask you a question. Outside of Ohio State, who has Michigan beat? They've only beaten one ranked team, and I'm not counting Iowa. I'm not. Iowa's overrated every single year. If they was in the SEC, they wouldn't even win more than seven or eight games. Iowa was ranked 13th at the time, but their offense is terrible. I could find high school teams with better quarterbacks and offensive players than them. We're not counting Iowa. So the only ranked team they beat was Ohio State, and the only other ranked team they played was Michigan State, and they should have won, but once again, Harbaugh folded like an omelet. For my Michigan fans, I'm going to give you credit. Ohio State wasn't a good win. It was a great win. You whipped their butt from quarter one to four in every aspect of the game. It was a great win. That's all there is to it. Taking a look at their season as a whole, Michigan beat Rutgers. Rutgers, I'm going to reemphasize that. Rutgers, who is pitiful, only by seven points. They beat Nebraska, who was pitiful, finished 3-9, by three points. And another close game was they barely beat Penn State by four freaking points. Taking a look at Georgia, they steamrolled through their season, and I am going to say they didn't play anybody, but they didn't have any close games. Same thing with the cookies and apples. I'm not going to say Georgia's a bad team because they lost one game to Alabama and it just happened. Losing one game against a great Alabama team doesn't mean you're not a good ball team. I'm telling you right now, you can record this, do whatever. The video's going to be up. Georgia is not only just going to win against Michigan, they're going to beat them by two scores, at least. Yo, Matt, how and why do you think that's going to happen? Georgia's defense is built to stop the run. You're not going to run on them. No no team in the country is going to run on Georgia. What does that mean for Michigan? It means bad news. What does Michigan do on offense? They run the ball. That's what they're good at. And you're not going to run against Georgia. In the past couple of weeks, I believe I've spent around four to five hours watching film on Cade McManera, the Michigan quarterback. This may shock some people, but I think he's a good quarterback, and I think he's a capable quarterback to win Michigan a game if they need to. Here's the thing, and here's the problem. He hasn't had to do that just yet, and when he's on a big stage against Georgia's outstanding defense, I don't see it happening. It's one of those things where I wouldn't be shocked if he won Michigan a game, but I'd have to see it to believe it. He hasn't proven nothing to me, and if you're a Georgia fan, you know I'm not a Stetson Bennett hater, but you can just say I don't think he's a great quarterback. If I had to choose my quarterback I wanted in this game, 
I'd rather have Stetson Bennett. And I'm going to say that. And if you've been watching the videos, you know how crazy that is for me to say. I think Kay McNamara is a better quarterback than Stetson Bennett. And I know what you're sitting there saying. Yo, Matt, if he's a better quarterback, in your opinion, why would you pick Bennett? One key word. And if you've coached or played at a high level, you understand it completely. Experience. What does Bennett have that McNamara doesn't? experience and that matters a ton especially in the playoffs has Bennett done good in the past couple of big time games against Alabama no not even close you know why I'm worried about Michigan that means he's due for not a big game but a okay game if you're a quarterback at Georgia all you got to do is manage it and I think Kirby Smart he's gonna let Stetson Bennett manage it to his best ability I wouldn't even call Bennett a game manager because he can make some scrambles and throws here and there Oh yeah, before I forget, JT Daniels is still in the COVID protocols. There's no update on him, but I don't care. If JT Daniels is quarterback or Bennett, I'm still picking Georgia by two scores. I don't have a problem with Harbaugh, but I speak for everybody when I say this. He's one of the most overrated coaches of all time in college football that hasn't done anything. He hasn't won a national title at all, and I don't know why he gets all this praise. Congratulations, you won the Big Ten. The Big Ten sucks outside of Ohio State, and I guess you could say Michigan. Again. Every team in the Big Ten outside of Ohio State is mediocre at best. Michigan State might be the worst 10-2 and two team and top 10 team I've ever seen in my life. You guys are going to say I'm crazy, but I honestly believe if I played quarterback and I had 10 subscribers, I could put up 35 points against Michigan's defense. That's how terrible their secondary is. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but didn't Ohio State have a 49-0 lead on them at halftime? Let me re-emphasize that halftime. I believe it on a dot in my mind. And you think I'm trolling, I'm not. I can put up 35 of Michigan State with 10 of my subscribers. A lot of you create this false narrative of, oh, Matt, you're SEC biased. No, I'm not. The SEC is the best of the best, and they're the top, and they're the alpha male. I'm telling you how it is. Put Michigan in the SEC. Guarantee you, this year, they'd have went 8-4 or 9-3, maybe. And I mean, maybe 10-2. Some of these teams in the Big Ten, they'd be looking like Vanderbilt in the SEC. I can't for the life of me even try to comprehend why some of you think Michigan not only has a chance, but they're going to win this game. Michigan has no, and I mean no chance whatsoever, and you can mark that down, send it to the bank. This season's over, and you want to know how I know it's over? When I saw Jim Harbaugh say what he said, I'm happy to be here. What do you mean you're happy to be here? You should expect to be here. That's the difference in these two teams. Last but not least, before I end off this video, for my Michigan fans, I'm rooting for you, and I'm excited to see this game, but I gotta be honest. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. I am expecting a full-out butt-whooping from Georgia to Michigan, and when I prove all you wrong like I did with Alabama and Georgia, you better come back because I'm about to light all y'all up after the game. Goodbye, Michigan. You had a good year. You're about to get a taste of the SEC. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. If you think Michigan's going to win, just hold your thoughts because you sound stupid. And as always, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, do all the nice stuff. Let's be great. I'm out of y'all. Peace.